Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my React.js course. In this video, we will try to see if you are passing any dynamic data through the route params, how can we access that one in the component. Let's try to see in this video. And here for example, if you try to see here, and if I write something like post slash some id 1 2 if you are taking this id so if you want to access the 12 12 is the actually 12 is the post id if you want to access the 12 post id in the component how can we access that one so let's try to see in this video so here what i can do is so first i will create a route for this one so let's go to the app.js okay here what i will try to do is here i will write some route path is equal to slash post slash some id okay so this id is a dynamic one so it can be a post id or the post title whatever the thing so it is the dynamic one so the component i need to load is post let's assume so we need to try we need to create the post component let's try to create the post component here i am creating post.js so in this post.js what i will try to write is export function post and i will be passing the props here so here I will be returning div and in this div what I will write is in this div so here I will write div okay so what could be the error here so why is this not showing let's write right again so post and here I will be writing one div okay yeah so in this div I will write post page so this is the post page I am trying to write okay so this is the component and here i will try to import this component so if i try to import this component if i try to import this component yeah so we have imported this component and we will try and we will let, let's try to see it here so post so now we are able to see this post page so component is direct, uh, successfully loading for the dynamic parameter now let's try to add it in the header page also let's go to the header.js so header.js and in this header.js what i will try to do is so here i will try to take this one and i will try to write it here okay now what i will do here post slash sorry post slash some id so some id means nothing but one two okay it could be a dynamic parameter or anything so here i will write post okay so let's try to see so when i try to open this one yeah i am able to see the highlighted thing also contact if i go like this if i go to the post page i am successfully able to go to the post page also now what i need to do here here i need to access this id so how we can access this id so here if we try to see in the post.js and if i console the props here so as we already discussed that when we are coming from the route so we will be able to get some props so what is that for props that is nothing but the route props so this will contain some history location and a match so if you check in the match here you will be able to see the params with an id 12 so this id is nothing but the id what we have mentioned here so this is the id so whatever the name you have mentioned here this will this would be coming as a property in that params object now if, how can we access so you already know so you can directly access here something like div sorry div so you can access directly like div and here you can use something like props dot match dot params dot sorry params sorry params dot id right so now if you try to check the output see here i am able to get the id so whatever the output you will be mentioning it here so you will be able to get that dynamic data so whatever the thing you are adding here so you will be able to get this dynamic route parameter so this is the way how you will be accessing the route params in the component okay hope you understood about this route params thing and another thing what i want to mention you is dynamically dynamically programmatically navigating from one page to another so how we can programmatically navigate from one page to another page for example if you have in the post dot uh, here only i am having one button let's assume so i will be having one button here so in this button what i will try to do i will try to create a button okay type is equal to button and here i will be having class name something like so bg hyphen red hyphen 400 text hyphen white uh, px px hyphen 2 py hyphen 1 so this is the thing i am using back to home okay so this is the button i am having so if i click on this button so it should has to move to the home page 
so how can i do this one so programmatically so through programming up to now what we have seen we have seen through the link so we are using the link uh, param uh, link component and we are navigating from one page to another but if you now if you want to navigate from through the programmatically means how we can navigate let's try to see and here what i am trying to do is i am trying to add on click is equal to so here i will add back to home okay so this is the method what can i do this method i will try to add it here function back to home and here if you try to see the props if you try to see the props here so for example on click back to home we have used now if we try to see we are not consoling the props or what okay we are not consoling the props let's try to console the props here console.log props if i show you the props here now you will be having one extra uh, you will be able to see the property that is nothing but the history okay so in this history you will be able to see all the methods so in this method you will be having the push so this push method same thing like in the vue.js only so how you will be having that one so you same thing so but in the angular you will be having in the navigate but here you will be having the push so by using this push we can directly move from one page to another so here what i can do so here i will be using props dot history dot push i can use this push and i can give the whatever the page i want i can give it now if you try to see the output see let me refresh this page okay i am able to get the props also and here if i click on bar so it went to the home page see so by using this history push we can navigate from one page to another so if you want to use push replace these all the things will be there so push why we use the push means if you click on the back you will go to that particular page immediately so if you are using replace means this uh, this page will be replaced so if you click on back so that page we will be not getting okay so this is the difference between the push and replace okay hope you understood how we can navigate from one page to another and also the how to access the route params also hope you understood about this okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you